Hi guys, welcome to another truck talk. So today I thought I would tell you guys why I decided to become a homesteader. I'm not really sure there's actually one reason. <laughs> so I've been for several years, probably five years now, really feeling like I was supposed to start uh, growing my own food, but I didn't really know how to start. I always kind of told myself that I had to have a bigger piece of property or, you know, I had to move out into the country before I could do it or, um, you know, it just wasn't a good time or whatever. And I finally decided that it was time and that I could learn a lot um, on my three quarters of an acre while I prepared to move out into the country. I still feel like I am supposed to move out into the country. I feel led to move out into the country. Um, I have always felt at home out in the country. And so I know that that is really where I belong, but um, I'm not there yet. I'm not there at this time. And so um, I really felt like uh, there was a lot that I could learn while I lived um, in town, it's kind of out of town, it's kind of on the edge of town, but anyway, um, and so a couple of years I had a small garden and uh, I just kind of, you know, fiddled around with uh, a few tomatoes and a couple of pepper plants and nothing real big or major but this year I decided this is the year this is when I'm ready to do it and so um I decided that this year I'm going to start canning and trying to learn how to feed my huh, my kids and um just preparing for um you know being able to live out in the country and I really feel like um I need to know how to grow my own food um, it's a lost art. Most people think that you can just go to the grocery store and get whatever you want and that it's going to be that way forever. And maybe it will be. Maybe it will be. But I also worry about, well, what if someday it isn't? Right? Um, what if someday you can't just go to the grocery store and get your own food? Um, I think the chances are slim that that will happen. Um, but I also think it doesn't hurt to know how to grow your own food, um, if that would be the case. Um, there's a bug. Shoe bug. So, um, I also try to live as debt-free as I can. And, um, we try to have as few expenses as possible. We don't have cable right now or internet. Uh, the only internet that we have is through our phone plan. Um, cause that's just another bill that I don't have to pay. Uh, Sean has helped me learn how to cut my energy costs down a lot. And, uh, after we're married, he will move his solar system into our house and we'll be able to cut it back even more. Uh, we may not be able to live completely off grid all the time at first, but that is our goal is to get rid of as many bills as we can, um, so that we can start saving for our property. So, um, and, and growing your own food, if you're not spending money at the grocery store because you're growing your own food, that's another way that you can save money and be self-sufficient. And that's really what our goal is. Our goal is to be more self-sufficient. I may never get away from going to the grocery store. You know, I'm still going to need salt. I'm still going to need sugar. I'm still going to need things that I can't grow or just, you know, produce on my own. But, um, you know, if I just need to go to show the store for, you know, the basic sugar, flour, salt, those type of things, then I will feel like I am fairly self-sufficient. Um, and once we move out into the country, maybe I'll learn to grow my own wheat and make my own flour. Who knows? Um... Because every day I learn a little bit more of what I can do. This week I made 32 jars of strawberry jam. And that was the first time I had ever hot water bath, water, water bath canned anything. So um, I'm, I definitely feel like I'm making progress. 
But um, that's why I uh, became a homesteader. That's because, you know, saving money, being able to do things on your own, grow your own food, know where it came from. Oh, knowing where it came from, that's a big one. You know, there's so many recalls on things anymore. Just, you know, lettuce. Lettuce was recalled like twice this year in Michigan. And it's just like, I can't even go to the store and buy out of lettuce because I don't know if somebody sneezed E. coli or something on it. Who knows how that stuff gets in there, but that bug is driving me nuts. That bug is bugging me. So, but, um, yeah, so that's another real big thing. And knowing what goes into my food, like, you know, what are we actually eating? What are we putting in our bodies? You know, I really think that what we put in our bodies affects how we feel feel and our health and all of that stuff and so um just learning more about the plants that we eat and how they can benefit us and help us and all of that stuff is just so important and uh, i think we've really lost that you know with as much information and technology and science as we have today you would think that we would know that putting crap in our bodies is not good for us but um we just don't it's more like well, you can put that crap in your body because you can eat it or something. I don't know, but I don't know. It won't kill you, I guess, is the mantra right now. If it doesn't kill you, you can eat it or something. I don't know. But So, anyways, there's my little soapbox for the day. And um, there is why I have become a homesteader and why I'm trying to graze and grow more of my own food and um, be fiscally responsible while I'm at it. So... Thanks for watching, guys.